This is Jonah Dempsey and I'm on the island of Ibiza. I want to do a quick recap of what we've just gone over with color as part of the Elements of Compatibility series. So color from the work of Steve Rhodes is seen through the lens of resilience. And this is a really nice piece to add to your understanding of motivation and PHS. Uh, as well as environment and view or perspective, which are the sort of ways we look at color in human design. What Steve Rhodes adds is that colors one and two are low resilience, fundamentally pessimistic. Three and four are medium resilience, fundamentally realistic. And five and six are high resilience and optimistic. Um, now, if you've watched the previous videos, you'll see we've gone into some of the nuances of that. I won't go over it again. I just kind of wanted to do a little recap so that uh, you have the formulas all in one place. The personality side tends to be more your mind. Do you have a fundamentally pessimistic mind, a realistic mind, or an optimistic mind? Um, the design side tends to be more with your body, right? Uh, and maybe you're a little more sensitive and need to carefully vet the people in your life with colors one or two. Maybe you need a little more variety and excitement. It's kind of like people coming to HDHD each year. Um, the color one and two people are kind of worried something will go wrong. The color three, three and four, like myself, are sort of apprehensive, uh, cautiously excited. And then the five and six are worried they're going to be bored. You know, so you kind of have a, you have some some interesting nuances there. Um, the only other thing I would say is is just when we're looking at color transference, this is a really interesting question. We know, for instance, um, fear transfers to to need, uh, hope transfers to guilt, desire transfers to innocence, and vice versa. Uh, I'm going to save that for a future video, but you can do some interesting. Um, kind of deconstructions of what that looks like using this new lens of optimism, realism, pessimism, or different levels of resilience. Thanks for watching.